In this video, I'm going to use Mathematica or Wolfram Cloud to fit some data to an exponential function. I'm going to use uh, the find fit approach. Okay, so let's first bring in the data. It is, I have it sort of a CSV file online. It has its first line is not data, but some headers. So I want, when I bring in the data, then I'm going to then plot and fit. I don't want uh, these, that first line of words wreaking havoc. So I have the option header lines, uh, arrow one, so that uh, it's going to bring that data in. So yeah, shift enter that line and bring in the data. Okay, so I brought in the data and I've called it uh, vapor. Now I wanna do sort of the, the opposite and just bring in that first line because like when I label my graph, when I make my graph, when I label my graph, I'd like to know that I've got, uh, that I know what the units are, that I've got the, my, the order I wanna plot things in uh, correct. And so I am importing again the data, but this time I'm using this option of a curly bracket data comma one comma all, and uh, the second argument is what rows I want, and the second is what columns I want. So I'm saying I want the first row and all the columns. And that will give me that label that I sort of I threw away up here because I don't want it wreaking havoc when I plot the data, but I do want to know it. So I'm bringing it in a second time by itself. And there it's telling me that it was the first value, what I'm gonna say are the X's are temperatures in Celsius and the Y's are pressure in kilopascals. Okay, so now I'm ready to uh, plot the data. So I'm going to use list plot and the data. I'm using plot label to uh, give it a uh, title. Uh, and then axis labels to say that the x-axis is temperature and the y-axis is pressure. And I'm also using a plot range. So um, when you list plot, uh, Mathematica may not show you all of the data. Um, so it might stop somewhere along the way, but I want to to sort of see it all. So it's going up to 101. So I want it to go sort of beyond 101. I chose, I don't know, for whatever reason, 120. And so this the plot range is the Y and I want it to go, uh, it starts pretty low at 0.09. So I want to go from zero up to something more than 101. I chose 120. So shift, enter, okay. So now we have the data plotted and I've given it a name um, of data. So I can either refer to it as out three or as data uh, as we move on, okay. Now I wanna to fit to an exponential, which has gonna have two parameters. Uh, first one, I'm gonna this is coefficient out front of the exponential. I'm gonna call that A, and then that uh, I'm gonna call it the factor, the number inside the exponential that I'm going to refer to as B. And with exponential um, data sort of sp spread out, um, I, I, I'm going to need in find fit to to give uh, some ballpark of the parameters to help with the fit. Otherwise, it can the procedure can get sort of caught up and sort of run off in a bad direction or something. So one of the main features of an exponential behavior, if I think that's what this is, is sort of doubling like that that the the data will increase and double or if it were going down it would have and so i just picked out um some points here i chose this uh 16 
and this 27.3.6, so the one, the y 1.8 to the 3.6 doubled. So I'm going to pick on those points, just use those two points to sort of get myself a starting point. So if I said what 1.6 to or 16, sorry, to 27, that's a difference of 11 in the x's, and so and that that led to a doubling. So I'm going to uh, use the the solve. I'm going to use n solve. Mathematica likes to do things exactly, but uh, so the exponential of b times 11, the difference in my two x's, is equal to 2. Well, that's the doubling. So I'm going to use that. And there are multiple solutions to this, but I'm interested in the first one, the real one. I don't want, I'm not interested in any kind of complex solution here. So I get a good starting ballpark for my B of 0.06 here from that sort of doubling thing. And now I'm going back to just this, the first data point. And I'm bringing now in the A, A times exponential of the B, that number I just found, uh, times the 16 is equal to 1.8. And uh, use again N solve. And that gives me a ballpark starting point for the for the A. Okay. Now I only use so that's not my final A and B answer. I only used uh, two of the points, but I do uh, it gives me uh, places to start. Okay, it gives me some of the behavior I'm interested in, the doubling, and it gives me um, a place to start in my fit. So now I'm going to use find fit, and I'm fitting the data. Then the next thing is here's the function I'm fitting to. I'm saying a times the exponential function of b times x. And I'm just, I don't always use mathematics. I use a number of different things. And so I tend to put in my multiplications rather explicitly. Um, so hence the asterisks, but uh, mathematics is pretty smart and really doesn't need them, but it's just sort of what I'm used to. The exponential function is exp in standard Mathematica notation, capital E and square brackets. Okay, so find fit. Here's the data. Then the next is the form. Then I specify the what in this form are parameters and what's a variable. So in curly brackets, I have my parameters a and b, and I'm giving. A and B, so I have curly brackets within curly brackets, and I'm deciding to give A and B those starting points. So here was the starting point for A, 0.656, and the starting point for B, which was 0.063. Okay, and I went overboard with the number of decimal places here. And then finally, we say in fine fit, uh, it's the data, the form, the parameters, and then the variable. So the variable was x. Okay. And so then um, it stayed, I don't know, somewhat in the ballpark. It took a up to 1.49 and b to 0.04 to 4 when I considered the uh, sort of other data points in the fit. And now I'm going to plot my fit function and also give the name of fit. So I'm using plot the A times the exponential of the B times X. And I'm using the range of X's going sort of up to about 100. So from X from zero to 100, the beginning X of an end X, okay. Again, that's different from plot range, which was wise. So let me shift enter that, and there is my fit formula. And then I want to uh, bring them together. And so I'm using show. 
I'm going to show the data and the fit. And here is my epilogue. And I'd, let me try a curly bracket here to see what that does. And the X, I wanted the X up in the exponential. Um, so I'm going to show the data and the fit, and then I'm going to add and that. Uh, the data already had the label axes in the title, but I wanted to add my fit formula. Um, so that is epilogue inset. Hold form is trying to get the uh, values up here raised up to the E, or I might just give up on that and write EXP and forget about the sort of uh, superscript kind of stuff. And uh, then where I'm placing, this is an X and a Y, where I'm placing that uh, equation sort of at an X of 20 and a Y of 60. So let's try that. Okay, so it kept my, it got the X up there, but it took also kept my, um, curly brackets, which I don't necessarily like. So I'm going to retype just EXP parentheses. I'll live with that. I don't want to fuss over too much over the equation. There we go. OK, so I have my data. I have my fit. I used and solve and then sort of nature of uh, the doubling nature of exponential data to try to get uh, starting places for my uh, two parameters. Then I used find fit to get to bring in more of the data and get uh, sort of a more sophisticated answer than just using two points and then brought it all together. Now I just want to show you uh, what Excel does. So the answer is not the same as the uh, Excel answer. So this is the same data. And you see that the value A and B are different. And that is what Excel does is takes a logarithm of the Y data, turning the, the form into a straight line and then uses the sort of standard sort of straight line approach. And when you use fit form in Mathematica, that it's got a different approach for uh, fitting the data and that weights the points differently. And so you get uh, different answers there. You know, there's some similarities and some differences, especially in an exponential with the data so wide, then which points get weighted can um, you know, control the answer and, and change the answer and, and change it maybe substantially. Um, now we're not, um, we're not, I'm not sophisticated enough here to figure out uh, which one I like better. We can see here that uh, the Mathematica seems to be closer at these higher points. Um, and then there are a lot of points here where it's a little bit off and uh, Excel seems to have done a better job at these lower points, but uh, then lost it on these upper ones. And so it depends uh, which approach you like, would depend on which data you think is better, which data you think um, you're more interested in, or you, or you think is more accurate. But uh, really what I just wanted to show was an approach to fit data to an exponential in Mathematica, and that's what we've done. Bring in the data, uh, use list plot to fit it, uh, use a little n solve in the nature of exponentials to get ourselves some starting point on these to get get us in a ballpark for the uh, fit find fit, and then bring the fit and the uh, list plot the data together. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you. Thanks much for your attention.